Hello, my name is Andy Butler, and I'm a recent graduate from Florida State University. I graduated with a degree in Information Technologies. I'm here today because I'm going to explain how to install some software. Um, the software that I'm going to explain how to use today is a program called Type VNC. Type VNC is a free software that you can download from the internet that is a remote desktop viewing. Uh, the remote desktop viewing has a multitude of uses. Um, you can use it such as I do. Um, in a network application, if a user or outside of your office or whatever needs help on something, you can log into their computer, assist them in what they're needing to get done, and complete the task. Uh, another application for this is if you're like myself also that has family members that live a distance away and you can't be there in person to work on our computer, you could log in through the Type VNC and assist them in what they need to do. Um, a Type VNC is also a lot user, more user friendly than a Windows application such as Remote Desktop that comes built into Windows. Um, it's not as ne nearly as difficult to operate. You don't need to know DOS or any of the other prompts to, to make it operate. All right. What we need to do first is we need to navigate to www.typevnc.com and when you get to their home page it will look something similar to this. And What you'll need to do is on the top or the right hand column of their website you'll see a link that says download and what you'll need to do is click that link and it will bring you to a screen that is similar to this. Now on your lower left hand side here you'll see platforms. For this demonstration I am using a Windows platform. I'm using this because this is majority of users out there and it will be the most friendly thing to use. But what you'll look for is the Type VNC Setup Exec and you click that link. If you're using Internet Explorer or some other web browser, it may ask you to um, allow active controls to be used on your computer, which is highlighted by the yellow bar at the top of the screen. What you'll need to do is click on that bar and select Allow Download. And what it'll do is it'll pop up a window that says something similar to this. So it's File Download Security Warning. Uh, what you'll need to do here is click Run. This is just strictly the application asking for it to open the files and run itself. So just click Run. This is an Internet Explorer security warning again. Different browsers will have different warnings. Uh, this is, I'm using IE for demonstrations on this. So in this case, the publisher couldn't be verified, which we understand because it's not a Windows application, but just click Run. And then the next box comes up is your terms of use. Now we're all guilty of just quickly clicking agree or accept whatever the term may be. My suggestion to you is read through these um, terms of use and if you agree with them then click accept or click next at the bottom of the page. After you have accepted the terms of use it will come up with a selected de destination file um, it automatically populates this area for you and I don't suggest changing it. Leave it as it is and that way there's no difficulty in making the proper program work properly. Click Next. And then it'll come up with a window that lets you select different applications and different programs that are come bundled in the software package. Um, my suggestion is to leave them all checked and don't uninstall them. I have done it both ways and sometimes the program doesn't operate properly if not all of them are installed. So leave them all checked and click Next. And this is a icon option you can have for your desktop. If you want to have an icon on the desktop, leave it as it is. Otherwise, there's a box in the lower left hand corner. Put a check in that and then click Next. Um, additional task, here again, leave the boxes checked and click Next. And this is where it'll say you're ready to install Type DNC. Um, it kind of gives you a preview of what it's going to do in the little scroll down box. If you want to scroll down and look at it, you can. Otherwise, I just say click install. This is the Windows install wizard. It comes up and tells you it's fixing to set up this thing. 
So just click next. And after all the files have been downloaded and installed, it will ask you if you want to restart your computer. Click finish. After the computer has rebooted or restarted, you'll need to actually open the Type BNC server. And you do that by going to the start icon, clicking start, and then to all programs, and then to Type BNC. And under the Type BNC folder, they'll say launch Type BNC server. Click that icon. This will do a couple things. First off, it will put a small icon in the tray menu in the lower right hand corner, which is a little box with a V in it. And it will also pop up this window here. Uh, this is the current user's properties. What you need to do on this window is it has primary password and view only password. You need to set those passwords to whatever you choose for them to be. They can be anything, but just make it something that you can remember. It doesn't have to be the same thing as the user on the other end. It just has to be um, a password that you can remember. Uh, set the passwords and then hit OK. Once you have set your passwords and your server is running, what you need to do is you need to launch the viewer application. They're going to go to start, to all programs, to type DNC, and then inside that folder to type DNC viewer. And you click that um, folder and it will open the application. This window will pop up and what it's asking you for is the IP address of the computer you're looking to connect to. And what you would do to find that if the other computer has a type BNC installed on it, that tray icon that's on the lower right hand corner, hover over that with your mouse and it will tell you the IP address. But you would enter it here and click connect. Then two windows are going to pop up. First off is going to be your password. You enter your password in there and hit OK. And the second window is going to be your connection wizard. It lets you know that both machines are actually running the type BNC. And if everything goes well, you are live on another system. Um, give me just a moment, I will show you what it looks like to run on a live system.